The sun has just set. We've got our party poppers on from last year. It was one of the only things I could find um, in my arsenal of uh, clothing. So, yeah, unfortunately not much to bring to the Springfield party, but jeez, okay. All right, I do not know why I didn't look left there. I, th I think I must be just getting really tired. So we're going to park up there and probably be safer once I'm out of the car. So here we are at the annual party, 4th of July party in Springfield. They've got the roads closed off here. I think we'll just be parking to the left. Uh, but they've got a bunch of vehicles out. It looks to be an absolute blast down there. So we'll head down. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the attractions. They've got fireworks later on. They've got, I believe, an air show or at least some planes flying over. It's going to be a great evening for sure. Head down there and see what there is. We should just be able to walk right down here. Evening officer. Uh, okay, so it looks like they've brought out the entire inventory of uh, the Springfield Police Department, the River City uh, Fire Department. That is so cool. Uh, they've got one of their new medical buses I saw on their blog. Uh, we've got an engine over here, or rescue, sorry. Engine, ambulance. No way, that's, uh, that's dedication there. I like your, I like your suit, good sir. Uh, we've got, oh, this ambulance is nice. Look at that. Very, very cool. Uh, we've got some tents over here. All right, well, we'll probably be back here in a bit. I'm just going to go and see what there is to see, basically, today. Uh, so, all the road is closed off here. Um, you can just walk freely, which is something you can't usually do. Uh, evening. Evening. Yeah, good, thank you. Just uh, just arrived here, taking a look. He's, oh, whoa. Look at this. They've got the American flag painted all over the car. Very nice deliveries behind you guys. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Anyways, have a good evening. Have a good evening. Uh, oh, my goodness me. No way. They got a nightclub. I've never seen this. Rick and John's. Never seen this before. Alright, that's pretty interesting, actually. I could do with a drink, to be fair. We'll go and uh, follow in these officers here. Yeah, a drink could be quite nice. Probably get some Bloxy Cola. That would be quite nice here. Got a bouncer here. Uh, I've got my ID in my pocket. Hold on. Somewhere. There you go. There's my ID, good sir. Um, yeah, good thank you. Good thank you. Just arrived at the party here. Thought I'd get something to hydrate myself as it's uh, looking to be a long night. Good to go. Thank you very much. Yep, have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Right. Got lights in here. Nice. Okay, a lot of smoke in the air as well. This is pretty cool. All right. Um, we're going to take a seat here and we'll probably just grab... Yeah, Bloxy Cola, actually. Bloxy Cola, that's quite, that looks quite nice for sure. We'll grab a Bloxy Cola. Hey, uh, sorry, just looking to get a uh, Bloxy Cola, please. Uh, just one to go, thanks. Oh, I do like the vibe in here. Very nice, very nice. It's nice to get out, you know, do something a bit different. And uh, the last year's was a parade, so that was quite nice to see, but this year seems to be a lot more interactive with the community, which is lovely. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, how much would that be? Three dollars. Perfect. Um, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good evening. Uh, yeah, inflation if you ask me. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Appreciate that. We'll just take this to go as uh, there's a lot I want to get done today. So we may be back here in a bit, but um, for the moment, I'm kind of just wanting wanting to explore uh, this all. So, yeah, let's head, let's head back over to this uh, FD section here. See what they've got to offer. So they were talking about some things as well. So, hey, uh, just wondering, just uh, wanting to learn a bit more about the, your department here. Look, I, I don't think I'd be a, the best fit for an EMT, but are there any other positions in the fire department that you could recommend me? I'm currently unemployed, so I'm looking for my next venture in life. Rescue personnel, that could be quite interesting. Um, yeah, do you, have a, do you have a brochure that uh, you can just kind of browse and take a look at the job options? It would be quite nice to see. Is, like, you got so much gear out here today. Perfect, thank you very much. Thanks. Um, we'll kind of take a look at that tonight, actually, because I, I would love to actually join the department. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Have a uh, good night. Good night there. Honestly, it looks to be an incredible job and an incredible group of people um, who are kind of serving the town all the time here. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I've got a uh, brochure, though, so I'll check that out. And yeah, it would be, it would be an interesting job, actually, though. I'm around back for a fire hose. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm interested in that, actually. Fire hose demonstration. That sounds cool. Mind if I come around back? That just sounds quite interesting, actually. Yeah, okay, perfect, thank you. Quite nice, actually. Newly built as well, so a lot of modern architecture. Very nice, very nice indeed. Got one of their tankers set up here in the old parking lot. Ooh, very fancy. 
is a lot bigger than I expected. I think I've seen smaller versions of this, maybe. Anyways, um, here we have the heavy tanker. You sure do. One of the newest additions to FD. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew it was new. I knew it was uh, something I hadn't seen often. But uh, you don't even see these off too often because they're usually involved in uh, brush fires, I believe. So usually down in the forest. Oh, I should probably stand back then if they just turned on the pressure to the hose. Uh, oh, wow, they actually... Wait, we get to hold it? That's kind of cool. Grab it and very gently pull back the lever. Okay, all right, they're going to show us. All right, all right, let's have a... Whoa, that's cool. Those things sure do have a lot of power in them. No wonder I do realize now why they uh, don't just give them to the kids to play with. <laughs> Definitely not a toy. All right, oh, look at that. No way, that's cool. That is so cool. Jeez, these things have so much pressure, actually. It really does uh, hurt your arm. I cannot imagine holding these for uh, a long period of time. But massive respect, though, to uh, the fire department, though. Jeez, that's cool. That is so cool. Hey, th thank you. Thank you. That was nice, actually. That's cool. These are the sorts of vehicles I'd love to drive around. And, of course, you know, fire department is all, isn't all about, you know, driving around the biggest vehicles on the street and uh, looking cool. But um, part of the job, I guess. Part of the job. Anyways, uh, I think we can just head back now. Hey, uh, thank you for that. I'm just going to head back now. So, appreciate you uh, showing us that to us. Alright, have a good night. Have a good night, sir. Thank you for uh, all your service. I think we can just head back through the FD, though. Looks like this area is kind of just opened up to the public at the moment. That's cool, though. First time holding a, an actual fire hose, and I can tell you they do have a lot of pressure in them. Alright, I think we're going to just hang around in this area for a bit, because I believe they're going to start the fireworks display shortly. So, we're just going to kind of hang around here, and hopefully soon enough the fireworks will begin. Uh, we may also get myself another Blotsy Cola, because I've uh, already drunk my first one. So, we'll just hang around here, and uh, in the next few minutes, hopefully we can see some action start. Alright, looks like uh, they're getting the fireworks set up, so we're going to go and form a bit of a, an audience back here. Well, here we go, the fireworks display, very uh, famous actually. They have some in incredible fireworks that they set up every year, so... Um, I guess they're actually not that close. Here we go, and off... Whoa! Whoa, that's a plane! That's a plane! Oh my gosh, where's it going now? Yeah, that hit a plane for sure. No way. I think the wing's on... No. Is that on fire or is that just smoke? I think that's just smoke, but it's heading towards the highway. Holy. Okay. I thought the planes were like in an hour or two. Okay, and I think this whole situation just escalated quite far out of uh, our reach there. Yeah, that was not expected whatsoever. Okay, and I think it's all disintegrating very fast now. Whose idea was it to fly planes right over as we launch fireworks? Okay, I, I, I may head down there. Actually, you guys, if we head down to the end of the road, we may be able to see something. Like, I don't want to get too close because, uh, of course, it's going to be very messy down there. But um, if we just walk down, we may be able to see something. They, they went left, I believe. Or they just went behind the trees. Either way, they may have landed in the farm, actually. That could make sense as a large open area. Looks like FD's got all their vehicles responding now. Far beyond what I expected to happen today, but I just really do hope everyone's okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, the fire. The fire over there. Be careful, actually. This road's um open. Yeah, there's a fire. Is that on the highway? Or is that behind the highway? No, that's on the highway. Yeah, that's for sure on the highway there. I think just a bit of shrapnel hit the hit the plane, right? I think this, yeah, let's not get any further. Oh my goodness me. The entire thing is just completely engulfed in flames. That's, that's crazy. Someone's going to get fired from this, but at the same time, this is a community of two events. So, who was responsible in charge of scheduling the flight and the fireworks? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. We're not going to, we're not going to move any closer here. Yeah, now we get to see the fire firefighters in action, but really just hoping I can see the pilot emerge from that. Maybe they have already. Looks like part of the fire is starting. There you go, firefighters now spraying it out. So, um, yeah, we'll see how quickly. I think it, it depends, actually. The more fuel they have on board, the longer this is going to burn. So, I, I would say they're in the, near the end of the route. Of course, they're going to have some to land, but, um, you know, if they were doing a flyover nearest airport from here isn't that far so i would assume that they aren't carrying too much fuel on board which uh hopefully should mean they can put out the fire a lot quicker 
They put out the fire now, so that's good. And from here we can just hope for the best. I think they're just going to want us to uh, head back to the town for the time being. Um, okay, let's head back down. You guys okay? Okay, perfect. Um, we'll probably just head back to the vehicle. I'm not really sure what's going to happen for the rest of the night here, since FD is pretty occupied. PD is going to be occupied with uh, traffic control, so... Unfortunate ending to this year's July the 4th Independence Day um, celebrations, but that's definitely going to go down in history, though. That is for sure, so that's one thing. That's one thing. From the recording team, we wish you all a happy Independence Day. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you later on this week for more uploads. Have a great day!